Good evening. Trading standards officers are warning that the state may have to pick up the bill to look after more and more people in their old age because they're losing their life savings to scams. The victims are often elderly and are vulnerable to fraudsters who target those who are isolated and lonely. Dick and Hooper reports. Raymond Rose is a full-time carer for his disabled wife, a vulnerable target for the fraudsters. How many this week? It's about 10 so far this week. The letters promise him lottery draws and prizes. Every day. So Raymond has sent and lost more than £3,000, most of his life savings. Very sick about it. It's brought me down a lot because with the uh, small amount of money that we get, um, really can't afford it. Do not do these at all. Just put them in the dustbin. So what's that? There's probably about 60 letters there, I think, isn't it? Yes, that's uh, one man's mail over a two-month period. Wow. Wow. A typical case, but just the tip of the iceberg. The concern for us is that because people are ashamed and embarrassed when they realise they've been scammed, yeah. they are very unlikely to report, and they'll go to huge effort to not tell their family about it. What, what sums of money have you seen that have been lost? Um, anything from a few hundred to a few thousand, mm -hmm. and in worst case scenario, 150,000. So all this has a massive impact on the victims and their ability to look after themselves in old age. You see depression. You see a lack of trust in their own judgment. You see people change their mind as to whether they want to live alone anymore and independent anymore. So you find that our older residents are more likely to go into a nursing home care arrangement. The people who could fund their care have lost their money to scammers who are abroad and now the state will have to pick up those costs. They do often have certain characteristics of being elderly, sometimes living alone, isolated, looking for companionship and uh, these unscrupulous um, the fraudsters will absolutely target these individuals as they feel that's where they get the best return. Stopping scams at source is very difficult. So tackling the root problems of social isolation and loneliness is the priority. This English language class is one of 50 projects in Bristol, running with £6 million of lottery funding. When people are more socially isolated, they have fewer social contacts, they're a lot more vulnerable. If people improve their well-being, they are less likely to be targeted by scams. Um, and especially something where somebody is improving their language skills and their communication, that increases awareness. For Raymond, the money is gone. But speaking out means others might not fall victim to a problem that in the end affects us all. Dick and Hooper, BBC Points West.